hey guys a very good morning so welcome to another video in this video i'm going to talk about the nature index now this video is divided into two sections the first section deals with what exactly is nature index for those of you who might not be aware of it and those who are just looking out for the rankings according to the nature index you can uh, go to the relevant section of the video i have divided the video accordingly so you can just go to the section that interests you the most now what exactly is nature index so nature index is basically a ranking system which is um, based on high impact journals okay basically uh, the research output in high impact journals so first of all you have a lot of research output that is generated from various institutes right but how much of that research output is in high impact journals uh, that is what nature index basically ranks upon so whichever institute is you know publishing quite frequently in very high impact journals that is considered to be higher in the rankings of course there are other parameters as well so first of all nature index um, ranks based on 82 journals so within all journals in the field of science it has only 82 it has shortlisted only 82 journals based on their uh impact okay not the impact factor impact factor is different okay they they are basically shortlisted based on their credibility and their uh, what you can say their how it is perceived among the scientific community for example inorganic chemistry is a journal published by american chemical society which uh, falls in the list of the nature index okay and its impact factor is 4.8 whereas there is another the journal called biosensors and actuators which has a impact factor of 10 which does not shortlist in the nature index so it is not just about the um, you know the impact factor it is also about how that particular journal is perceived within the scientific community that is also decided and that's how the nature index is created so if i talk about but uh, in particular about the chemistry field then only 20 journals make this cut and if you want to see which 20 journals they are they are so these are the 20 journals as you can see over here um of course there are many other very high impact and uh, you know high impact journals which are which have a good um you know which are perceived really well among the scientists um but they do not make the cut for nature index um like for example if i talk about my field which is medicinal chemistry so journal of medicinal chemistry is one of the most reputed journals um in the field of medicinal chemistry but unfortunately i i cannot see uh, it being uh, there in the you know nature index so of course they do miss out some um journals as well because of which they also claim in their uh, frequently asked questions page that it is not the best metric okay there are many other metrics based on which you can decide which research institution is having the most or the best research output okay so it's not just one in one particular metric but you have to see other metrics also or other rankings as well so whichever institute is uh, you know um, frequently um, being in the top 10 or in the top 5 in various other uh, rankings as well they also claim that they do not take a lot of other things into consideration for example like one thing i pointed out like journal of medicinal chemistry is very well reputed but does not make the cut for the nature index then secondly they do not talk about patents okay so patents are not uh, taken into into the um, picture over here then their scientific outreach programs they are also not taken into the picture here the diversity the gender ratio of the faculties the student to um, you know the st faculty to student ratio so a lot of things are not considered over here so it is just uh, about you know publishing in these high impact journals and of course there are some other things as well now if you see over here if i talk about um the rankings i'll talk about the rankings in a bit but if you see the rankings are based on two aspects one is the count and one is the share so what exactly is count and what exactly is share so basically what you need to know is count is basically in the number of articles that were published okay like it is not exactly that but just for uh, simplifying i am telling you that count stands for how many articles were published in these high impact journals and share stands for that how many how much of those articles were contributed by that particular institute or the, by the authors of that particular institute so what that means is that let's say if i if one particular institute is publishing a lot in these high impact journals or the journals that are indexed in the nature index but um they are in collaboration with a lot of other scientists okay so that means there are a lot of collaborations going on so their count will be high but their share will be low for example if you see csir has a count of 100 but a sh uh, and a share of 47.92 so if you see over here the count is 64 but the share is 19.92 okay that means they have a lot of collaborations as well so the, whatever research output came out from these institutes in the nature index journals or in the nature index whichever journals make the cut in the nature index uh, so whatever work has been published that has been published with a lot of collaboration that is where that is why the share is very low 
okay the count is high 64 but the share is quite low so if you see it is almost more than three times whereas for csr it is just above two like it is just more than two so definitely they collaborate a lot with some external collaborators whereas csr has the infrastructure or has you know has the resources to carry out the research work within their institute also so you can look at it in two ways either one way you can look at it that they have a lot of collaborations or the second way that you can look at it is that csr has a lot of internal resources so even though they are not collaborating a lot yet they have a very high research output so these are the two aspects from which you can look into so this was all about the nature index now let's talk about the rankings so if i talk about specifically in the field of chemistry so you see that csr may has the highest ranking but of course csr if you see has been divided into these um you know so many institutes so of course like all these institutes are coming to the picture so it's not fair to consider csr alone because it is being it, there are many institutes which come under csr of course right so you cannot really consider it as a institute and i'm not sure why they have considered it as one single entity uh, anyway so among the csr if you see uh, the national institute for interdisciplinary science and technology that is uh, this particular csr has a very high count uh, that is close to 11 apart from that you can see uh, indian institute of chemical technology and national chemical laboratory have the highest counts you can see over here 21 and 20 so of course these are the two most prestigious institutes when it comes to chemistry in india and uh, that can also be seen in the nature index apart from that you can see cdri is also considered to be a very good institute and um, you can see over here it has um, count of 11 right so there are uh, multiple institutes with a count of 11 anyway so we cannot consider csr as one single entity so if you and same goes for academy of scientific and innovative research so if i have to say from an institution point of view then you can see isc is the best among all with, uh, with i would say it is the top ranked institute okay because i am not considering them as in institutes because they are a collaboration of multiple institutes okay then we have iit bombay then we have indian association for cultivation of science um then we have icer kolkata um, amazing institute for basic sciences then jncsr of course a very famous institute then we have iit madras um uh, we have homi baba national institute so you can see this is a surprise not many people um consider this as one of the great like it's not very popular institute i would not say people consider it great or not that's a different thing but it is not a very popular institute but you can see that their research output is very high uh, then we have your iit kanpur and then you know tata institute of fundamental research icer pune and then there are other institutes as well so this was based on the count okay and uh, you can see these are the top 10 and among the top 10 if you see i there are only three iits iit bombay iit madras and iit kanpur in the chemistry field okay now if i talk about the share okay if i if i sort it by share then things change a bit they have a very high share indian association for cultivation of science that means whatever research articles are being published in these journals which are indexed in the nature index um they are mostly being published by the authors present within this institute only so that means they have a lot of resources uh, present within the institute by which they are able to do the research so they are not requiring external collaborators okay so again you can look at look at it in two ways either they don't have many external collaborations or the other way you can look at it is that they have so many so good resources or such so good scientists that they don't need to collaborate without collaboration also they are publishing in high impact journals with a very high percentage share okay and then we have your indian institute of science at third iit bombay at fourth um then icer kolkata at fifth jncsr at sixth iit madras at seventh um then we have your indian institute of science and education research icer pune and then iit guwahati so these were in the field of chemistry and if i want to talk about overall in the field of sciences uh, let's go by the count again so let's see overall which are doing the best so overall homi baba national institute is considered to be the top institute overall in all scientific subjects so this is a big surprise at least for me it was a big surprise um then we have tata institute of fundamental research um uh, of course tata institute of fundamental research has also been broken down into different um into different departments um okay but anyway so we have tifr then we have an institute of science um iit madras um then csir then iit bombay icer pune 
Punjab University and now if you see over here for Punjab University the count is 100 but the share is only 4.34 that means most of these articles that they get in very high impact journals or nature index journals they come from a lot of collaborations okay so this tells me that Punjab University in itself does not have the resources to publish in this high impact journals and they have to collaborate a lot with external collaborators again you can look at it at look at it in two ways okay first is that they do not have the internal resources so that is a negative but then the positive is they have a lot of collaborations so that speaks volumes about the university and then we have Dep department of atomic energy at ninth and then we have the Uni Delhi University at 10th okay so among universities you can see Punjab University and Delhi Un University make the cut overall so I'll give you the link of the website down in the description box you can you know see the metrics you can read more about it and make an informed decision so this is again I would just like to say this was one of the metrics there are many more metrics and these metrics just give you a general idea okay do not pick your institute just based on the metric so anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up or just like this video and just share it among your friends so that they have some um, idea about what exactly is Nature Index. And if you did like my channel, consider subscribing to it as well. Just think of it as a way to motivate me to make more such informative videos for all of you. So I'll see you then in the next video. Till then, take care and bye bye. I'm teaching live on the Unacademy platform in the CSR UGC net category where I'm taking both the free classes as well as the paid courses. So if you want to get access to the free classes, all you have to do is download the Unacademy app and when joining the CSR UGC net category, you have to use the unlock code that is SETHI. This is absolutely free of cost and you will get access to all my classes. While if you want to take the paid subscription or the plus subscription, there is a subscription fee for that. And if you want some discount on the subscription fee, you can use the referral code SETHI. This will give you 10% discount. On top of that, you will also get access to the my WhatsApp group where I frequently post a lot of updates related to exams and other things. In addition, with the plus subscription, what all benefits you are going to get? Well, you can watch all my sessions. Apart from that, you can watch other sessions that are um, available from other educators in the CSR UGC net category. You will also get a frequent mock test for the examination for your practice and some doubt solving sessions as well. So if you're interested in joining the plus platform, you can definitely check out the free classes first and then take a decision to take the plus classes. Do not forget to use these referral codes. Uh, this will give you a discount for the plus subscription and this code you have to use when you're joining the app to get access to all my free classes.